under the text formulas, there are a lot of formulas in Excel which help us deal with the text part of it also. Not only the numerical part of it and more to do with the database assembling part of Excel. These formulas are the ones which purely manipulate text. So no logic is used out here. It is just used to probably merge text or beautify text or provide it in a formatting that you would require where the database is spread out in too many rows or columns and you want to compress it into probably one single column in a particular format that is required. So that is how the textual formulas come into play, the text formulas. For example, the first formula which is uh, used quite commonly in Excel is the AND operator. The AND operator basically helps us merge two parts of any data entered into different columns. For example, uh, let's say we have A here and B here. And the, the syntax for writing this formula is to use AND in between. And if I use A and B, it shows me a result of AB. Now, the problem here was that I might want a gap between A and B. I might not to merge it fully. Like if I want to, there are two names out here, like the name uh, written out here, Tom Brady uh, in this example. So uh, I'll copy the same name. If I name out here, uh, Brady. So this would have come out as his name, right? But then this name creates a problem because there is no spacing in that. So how do you go about that spacing is you insert another and, but you need to insert a space. How do you insert a space? You open the inverted commas and where you usually type a text, I will just enter the space, space bar once. So it creates a gap and then I close it with an inverted commas. So we have a space between the inverted commas which provides the gap between F8 and G8. And then again, I link it with the AND operator formula, and then I type ENTER. So the result now gives me Tom Brady in the proper format, which has a spacing. Uh, here you can see the same thing, which I have just shown. Let us see some more examples out here. It says project one out here. The result is project one, where we have just merged A3 and B3 without any gapping. Paul Smith, this with a gapping, so Paul Space Smith, because we have inserted space out here. Project one, project one completed. Now, how does that happen? A7 and B7 combined together without the spacing. That would say project one. Then I insert and again, and I actually type completed the word completed in inverted commas so it adds on to all of the three so in this case for example if i wanted to do that i would do the equal to sign and then i would use this value and i and then i again select and i put in uh, tom brady task completed i close it with an inverted sign please note that textual entries should always be opened and closed with the inverted commas. So this is what the formula says. Tom Brady task completed. These formulas are usually very helpful when you are talking about data to be merged where from one place you have to pick up a name. Those names are also separately written like the first name and the last name. So one part of the formula merges the first name and the last name. You will get one combined name. And the second part adds on something like target achieved or target not achieved. So you can club these two, three parts and paste the formula downwards for all the employees, depending on the results achieved. And those results achieved, target achieved or not, can be based on another formula like the if formula, which returns true or false, or it returns a value if achieved and returns a value not achieved. So you use the AND formula to join those two values, where one, you are picking up the name, merging the name from the first and last names. And in this later part of the formula, you are adding whether the results achieved or not. So by using this clubbing formula, you get the results for all the employees, whether they have achieved their targets or not. And the data could be in different sheets. The name could be in different sheets and the achieved or not achieved could be in different sheets. Now here in such a case, when you want to keep on adding 
lots of data. I mean, what we saw above was just one or two predictions. There might be times when you need to add three, four, five, six, seven values. So in such a case, we need we use the concatenate function. The concatenate function can help you enter multiple values within your formula. You do not use you need to use the AND sign again and again in between, right? Where you had to use the AND sign in the AND operator formula. In the concatenate function, you just type the entries in between. So if they are reference to a cell, you can just uh, put in that cell reference. If they are a particular value, you can type that value. If you want to insert space, you can put into inverted commas with a space in between. Okay. Let me just uh, do a quick example of this. I'm not uh, putting any space in between. This is just to show you how this works. So what I did was I just quickly entered four or five cells and it copied the whole values, return value, return, result of concatenated text, arguments, text one, then the text uh, description, text two, and then the description. So that is what concatenate does, right? But with the new uh, versions of Excel, there has been a latest introduction of a formula which, which gives us the best value, uh, which is known as concat, which will be there only in the newer versions. The, the biggest advantage of this is that you can select an entire range to be added together. So for example, here, Now, please note what happened here is, in the formula, I've written concat and I've selected from here to here. The points to be noted out here is that the concat function ignores the blank cells. It does not take, up, take them up as any value. So what it picked up was my name is, okay? My name is, there was no spacing, so it did not provide any spacing. I could, let me try this, and it will pick up exactly the same thing that I've entered. So it has picked up the inverted comma sign out here, right? So I can come here. Now it has shown the spacing also. Please note when you are in a blank cell, sometimes you, you might think that this is a blank cell, but the fact that uh, I have uh, pressed the space bar on a blank cell, that means the space will be introduced in the merging formulas. Like for example, if I, Press the space five times, 10 times maybe. Please note that the gap is accepted. So a blank cell visually might seem as a blank cell, but whenever you press the space bar, that is how it is accepted as a blank cell. So in such a case, when let's say I, I type name here and I type name here with three spaces, Okay, and I say is this equal to this? It says false. Why does it say false? Because in one cell only the name was written. There were no space bars. I mean, there were no spaces in between. And in the second cell, after the name, there were three spaces. Okay. If I just copy this out here, so sometimes when we are doing formulas, it gets very confusing as to where the error in the formula lies. So at that time, you you should check that has any extra space been inserted after the names okay so that you can easily check that part so the biggest advantage of the concat uh, function is that you can select a whole range of cells and you don't need to put in any argument okay so uh, like for example this set out here it will ignore this part and it will copy this part i just need to say concat and this and i select all of this these two parts will be ignored and the rest all will be merged. Everything has been merged into one value. So in such a scenario, when you want to merge, uh, merge results, you can do that part. So let's come to the text join function. Under the text join function, the function combines text from multiple ranges or strings. And that includes a delimiter that is you specify between each text value that will be combined. 
if the delimiter is an empty text string, this function will effectively concatenate the ranges. Okay. So basically, the delimiter is something that is like a text string which you introduce. It could be any string of characters. It could be empty space also, like we'll see in this example. The syntax is like this. We start with equal to text join the delimiter, then ignore and empty. Ignore empty means if it is true, it ignores empty cells. So if you write true out there, it will ignore empty cells. It will not pick up the empty cells. Let us see what is the advantage of that. And then you put in text one, text two, it can be one cell or a range of cells with a reference to a text string. So here we have certain data where you have the titles in the first column, the first name, in some cases, the middle name, in some cases, the last name, I mean, in all cases, the last name, and in some cases, the suffix or the post title to be added. So what happens here is we use the text join formula. And as per the syntax, we start with equal to saying the text join. And for the, the delimiter, we introduce inverted commas with a space. Okay. So please note again, a text string either empty or one or more characters enclosed by double quotes or a reference to a valid text string. If a number is supplied, it will be treated as text. So we have introduced a delimiter, which is the limiter between the text that we are going to club. Then it says true. True means it ignores all the empty cells. So in some cases, there are empty cells. In some cases, there are not. So the advantage of writing true out here is that the computer will automatically ignore the empty cells because, for example, in some names, when there is no middle name, you would not want the computer to leave extra space for those cases where there is not a middle name and for some cases where there is a middle name, the formatting will look quite different. So there the ignore empty option comes into play where if you've written true, then the computer will ignore the middle name, for example, in case that place is blank. So there we write the true part in the formula and then in the third part, like text one, text two, we have supplied the entire range which says A2 to E2. That means this whole section. So what happens is that the computer clubs all the data out here. In the first row, for example, it ignores the middle name and it ignores the suffix column. It uses the delimiter, which is a space inserted in the beginning. So it says Miss Marlene Culbertson spaced out with the delimiter. And for example, in the name where there is no initial salutation or a title, the name of Ed Holler Jr. It takes up Ed Holler Jr. because all these five columns have been separated. So sometimes we have the salutation is blank. Sometimes the middle name is blank. Sometimes the suffix is blank. Only the first name and last name are permanently there in both the columns. So in such a case, you do a text join entry where uh, that can help you club data which is randomly entered, which is not entered in the exactly same format. So that is a very useful formula in those.